What's up, everybody? Retro Python here. You know, during a pandemic, we all went a little crazy. We all had a little madness. I suffered from mini madness. I literally bought every mini slash classic device they made. Some I hacked and put pies in. Some are stock. Some I made from hand, like the Saturn and Dreamcast from cell phone chargers. Today, though, we're going to talk about the one I kind of launched a craze, the NES Classic. Great little device. Only 30 games, though. I thought they could have added a couple of more. They're not very big. 30 games, Nintendo? Really? Look at this interface. It's beautiful. They actually kind of modeled the rest of the devices from this. Even a TurboGrafx-16 borrowed a page from this. They ain't got nothing to do with Nintendo. There's a great bunch of games on this, but there's some classics that I think are missing, like Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. The original Punch-Out is here, but not Mike Tyson's. The original Contra. This is great, but I want the original Contra. RC Pro-Am. A lot of great games. So let's see how we do it. Open up your browser. Let's go to modmyclassic.com. This is a great site. We're going to be using it a bunch while we modify these minis. There's a whole bunch of stuff on here. We want Hackchi for this particular mod. Hackchi will modify a SNES, NES, Sega Mini, Famicom Mini. So all the big ones, you're going to use this program. Let's download the latest version, 3.91. I want to download the portable version. Keep it separate. Whenever I do a new mod, I create a folder on my desktop that's completely empty. I have Chrome save to that folder. This way it's empty. I don't have to search for anything, and I could always just throw that up on my Dropbox if I ever need it again, nice and clean. Let's extract the zip file. Let's delete the zip file. We're going to go into the folder now. And let's run the hackg.exe. Get used to this interface. You're going to see it a lot when we do these minis. It's going to say hello to you the first time you use it. It'll tell you how to use it. It's a warning telling you that the Genesis mini cable is shit and you need to use a better one. We'll deal with that later. Here's all the games that the NES comes with. As you see, the pull-down menu, you can pick whatever device we're doing. Obviously, we're doing the NES Classic today. So let's go back to that. Let's uh, stretch this out a little bit so you can see everything. First thing I like to do is I like to just hack the device. We'll add games later. So to do that, go up to kernel. You go install. This is going to install the new custom kernel. Follow these directions. Unplug the USB cable from the computer. Turn the power on the device while holding the reset button down. Plug that USB cable back in. Windows will find it. It'll start uploading the kernel. If you have trouble with this part, make sure your antivirus is off, your firewall is off. That has been known to interfere with this process, especially when the device tries to reboot. In the top right-hand corner of your screen right now is the device. What you would see on your TV right now would just be a blank screen. Once it reboots, you'll get that HackChi logo. You'll see that in a couple of seconds. Here it comes. Device is now rebooting. rebooting as you can see the device now has the hack logo on it i think there's a way to change that if you want but you know what give those guys props they, they created a hell of a tool it's going to reboot a couple of times i was going to fast forward through this part but it's probably better off that we see it together and you can see exactly what's going on and what's going on with your NES Classic, what's on the screen. One more reboot. Hack G logo. Should be done any second now.
There we go. One more reboot. You'll probably get a message on. Yes, you will. There it is. You'll get a message on your device saying, hey, wait a minute. This thing has been reset. If there's a problem, you know, let's figure something out. But it was reset for a reason because we just hacked it. So let's switch over to our TV now. And we'll take a look at the device. Got the Hack G logo. It's going to tell you that, hey, look, this thing was reset. Did you want to do that? If not, maybe you should check it out. We wanted to do it. Don't worry. We'll set up English, and here's your original 30 game. We didn't change anything. We just changed the kernel, which allows us now to add whatever we want to it. So nothing fancy. This is like it would be if you took it out of the box. We're going to shut it down. Now the fun really begins. Back to Hack G. We're going to add more games. Go to your whatever ROM set you have. If you ripped them or download them, listen, I don't condone piracy. I'm not going to tell you where to get the ROMs. You should have them. You figure it out. But anyway, here's my ROMs. I'm going to add these games to my NES Classic. It takes a little couple of seconds to just select everything. It is on my network drive, and it is about 700 games. There we go. It's going to process all the games. You're going to get a couple error messages in the beginning, so I'll stick with you and I'll show you how to handle that. I think the game is Batman. Yeah, Batman Return to the Joker. There's a problem with it. It may not work. Just say yes to all so he doesn't nag you again if it finds us for another game. And there's another game, Battletoads. There's a patch. I don't know what they find a patch on, but some of the games have patches, so just say yes to all. And it won't bother you again. Now we'll speed this up. As you can see right now, it's just processing the game itself. Once it's done processing the game, it'll actually go and scrape it and grab the files, the graphics, the images, the box art, the descriptions, uh, number of players, all that fun stuff. You'll see that in a second. We're already on T's. And we're only not even halfway there. So you know it's got something else to do. And here it goes. Now it's downloading all the fonts, logos, box art, all that stuff. This process takes a little bit. This is actually sped up 500%. So when you do this process with the games, go get a cup of coffee, Taco Bell, whatever you want. All right. It's done. The games are added to actually not to the device yet. We have to, we have to add those games to the device. Now, obviously, you can't add 800 games to that cover flow. It's just not going to work. It's going to crash. So we're going to have to make a couple of changes and figure out how we want to do this. There's many different options we have. I'm going to show you the one that I prefer. What I prefer may not be what you prefer. Now that we have all the files inside of Hackchi, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the original files. We already just re-added them anyway, so we don't really need them. It's going to confuse things. We go to structure. I'm going to say... Let's set the maximum pages in a folder, or forward, it's actually games in a folder, to 45. Okay, and then we're going to sort everything by first letter. It's a little neater, it's a little easier, but you can't have more games than, you can't have more than 45 games in a folder, so we have to go through this and see. Okay, so Bs are broken down into two. I don't like the way they name them. I'm just going to say B, page one, B, page two. All right, you can kind of figure out later on. And we're just going to go through this. This is the way I like it. I don't like the way that looks with the sir and sib. I, I, I don't like that. My OCD does, would not let that happen. 
So I'm just going to go down the line and see which one has multiple pages. And we're just going to name them one, two, three, four, five, whatever many pages there are. I don't think any of them go past two. So take a second and do that. You could do anything you want. You could name them. You could do them by genre. I have no problem with whatever you do here. This is nothing more than a helpful tool. I am by no means a god when it comes to this stuff. I just like my stuff a particular way, as I'm sure most of you do. All right, now that that's set, we're just going to hit OK. Now we're going to synchronize Hackchi with the device. So we already did a custom for kernel, so just say yes. All you have to do is just connect your mini to the PC and turn it on. You don't have to hold the reset button, just connect it and turn it on. There it is, just got recognized. Give it a couple of seconds. There it is. Now it's going to come up to the folders because it knows, all right, what do you want to do? It's going to ask you that anyway. We already did that. Just hit OK. Now it's going to start throwing those games onto that device. This is sped up, but it still goes pretty quick. It's about 173 megs we're adding up there. We still have, if you look, there's 181 out of 364. So we still have plenty of space left for our save games. Let's plug this thing in. Let's go to the TV. There you go. So now, as you can see, you have all the folders, A, all the A games. Go back. I believe B was split up. So we have B, and we have one and two. We go into two. Go, go back. Let's just let's just try a game. So I mentioned earlier that it had the original Punch Out, but not Mike Tyson's Punch Out. I think this will be my probably my most played game on this device. Where is it? There we are. It loads up nice and quick. HD graphics, it's great. Start a new game. Good old Glass Joe. Forgot what button it was for a minute.
I'll show you something pretty cool about Hatchy is you don't have to hit reset anymore. Uh, if you want to just go back to the main screen, you just hold down select and down on the D-pad and it will bring you back to your screen and you have your save state. So you don't even have to hit the reset button on a device. Let's save this. We'll go back later and I'll finish off Glass Joe. If you want to play that save state, you just go right there and there it is. Boom. Go load it back into it right where we left off. We have plenty of space. We have over 200 megs, I think, left. So you can change the display, add scan lines, shrink it a little bit so it's pixel perfect. I prefer to 4.3. You got all your div all your settings. Auto shut down if you're not playing it for a while and it'll show you a demo, you get the language, intellectual properties, manuals. Awesome. Shut it down. Listen, I'm gonna my me and my kids are gonna get a lot of use out of this device, so I hope yours do too. Make sure you like, subscribe. We'll be back with some more mini madness. Maybe we'll do a super NES next, maybe we'll do the Genesis. I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna wing it. Happy gaming, everybody.